Welcome to our project output video. In this video, you will see how our Mendix application works on Mindsphere OS after this project. We have successfully developed the front end, the back end parts of the Mendix application and pushed the app to Siemens Mindsphere OS. After this, we have registered our app. To check these steps, you can go to videos from part 1 to part 3 sequentially. Since our app is registered in MySphere, first we have to connect with one of the users that we have described within MySphere OS. In the configuration on MySphere video, we have registered this email as CEO of the company. That is why we are seeing the CEO homepage. In the CEO homepage, we see general overview of our factory all related values with production and efficiency. CEO can create time series data to observe specific time periods values. Now our CEO sets this time scale from 2.20 pm to 2.22 pm and clicks the current values. Our production line's current for each three phases comes as a graph. Also, we can see our values as gauge. In the dashboard page, there are all values of our production line in gauge or line graph. We can also set alarms in our application. For example, Let's set an error for our second phase's current. If our second phase's current reaches to 6 amperes, our application will give us an error and you can set another error to send it to the maintenance engineer's application to check whether everything is running correctly or not. So, this is it. We come to an end. Thank you for watching University of Applied Science Darmstadt's How to Mindsphere with Mendix Low Code video tutorial.